this actually makes me a little emotional and that is suddenly hard to talk about. Oh, um, I see, I, uh, I want to do this without crying. People turn to poetry after all the protests of 2020, after uh, such a horrendous pandemic, uh, after the rise of fascism <laughs> again throughout the world. And I, I'm glad that, that this book could be a part of that. Often when I'm writing my poems, I think about myself when I'm 19. Uh, when I was 19 years old, I needed poems more than ever. And yet I couldn't get a hold of every poem I needed. And so I'm trying to write those poems I couldn't get a hold of. Aster, nasturtium, delphinium. We thought fingers in dirt meant it was our dirt. Learning names in heat, in elements classical philosophers said could change us. Stargazer, foxglove. Summer seemed to bloom against the will of the sun, which news reports claimed flamed hotter on this planet than when our dead fathers wiped sweat from their necks. Cosmos, baby's breath. It was the first time they ever picked a book of poetry. And when I heard that, I felt like it was destiny. Because one of the things that I always feel about my work and about myself, my own identity as a poet, is that it is my job to be an ambassador for the work. Not just for my poems, but for poetry, period. I am interested in introducing the magic of poetry to people who have yet to feel that magic. I want to say a very direct thank you to the donors who are supporting this project. And thank you for being open to poetry, for allowing it to do work on your soul, and for walking with me, you know, from the first page to that last page. I appreciate you allowing me uh, to hold your hand as we take that walk all the way to the very last poem. Thank you so much.